It's not going to be easy for you. And to get that strength, you, you will gain that strength the closer you are to Allah, the stronger you'll get. And you'll get close to Allah when you recite His words calmly in the middle of the night. And then Allah starts talking about the benefits of the, the night prayer. Why specifically the night time? Inna nashi at layli No doubt about it. This getting up in the night. Hiya ashaddu wat'an It is more firm when it comes to planting your feet. In other words, there are no distractions. There's nobody else calling you. There are no other obligations. The world is asleep. Your feet are planted more. And then, نَشِئَةَ uh, اللَّيْلِ يَعْنِي تَصَرُّفًا وَأَقْوَ مُقِيلًا يعني, uh, Actually, no, I skipped that. الْعِبَادَةَ الَّتِي تَنْشَأُ بِيدٍ All the worship you're going to stand up and do at that time is going to be firmer. It's going to plant your feet deeper into the ground. What actually means to penetrate onto the ground and step. يطأ to step on the earth and to leave an imprint. So your feet will get imprinted where you stand. You'll be planted. You'll be firm. And this is actually imagery, kinaya in the Qur'an. It alludes to something. And the allusion here is, when the Prophet's feet are planted in the ground in, in prayer, he will be, his feet will be planted when he stands by his message. Ifbatul qadam. You know, we say, وَثَبِّتْ أَقْدَامَنَا وَنْصُرْنَا عَلَى الْقَوْمِ الْكَافِرِينَ Plant our feet firm. Well, you'll become firm in your beliefs and firm in your, in your delivery, in your confidence when you develop this relationship with Allah. That's the instruction given to the Prophet ﷺ. وَأَقْوَى مُقِيلًا And it's more upright in, in terms of speech. In other words, your, your words are not filled with distraction of anything else. This is the best time to speak with me. And also some, some argue here, وَأَقْوَى مُقِيلًا It's the most upright, it's the best time. To be speak in terms of speech with Allah, because Allah is where in the middle of, in the last portion of the night is the closest. So the best time to talk to me is then. Wa aqwa muqilan. Just ask Allah to forgive you. That's all I'm asking. Ask your master to forgive you. Inna hu kana ghafara. He no doubt he keeps forgiving over and over and over again. Yusil is sama. He will rain the sky upon you midraran in good continuous life giving rain. Rain that continuously comes is called midrar. Now notice the punishment that destroyed this nation was rain also. Was water also. But actually the, the, when rain is calmed down, when it's not gone wild, then it's a source of life. It's a source of vegetation. It's a source of you know, a, a healthy, healthy society. وَيُمْدِدْكُمْ And if you just ask Allah for forgiveness, He will extend you. Be amwali wa baneen with money and children. All these benefits will open to you, notice. And if you were to ask forgiveness of him, then these things will happen. What things will happen? The sky will rain water, abundant water. You will have more in money, and you will have more in children. And he, he will install gardens for you. And he will put together rivers for you. He'll install rivers for you. Life on this earth will become beautiful for you. If, what? You ask Allah for forgiveness. This is a passage about what are the benefits of istighfar. We thought the benefit of istighfar is forgiveness. Obviously, somebody's asking for forgiveness. The greatest thing they're hoping for is forgiveness itself. Forgiveness comes with these benefits. وَيُمْدِدْكُمْ بِأَمْوَالٍ وَبَنِينَ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْحَارًا He'll put gardens out for you. He'll lay rivers down for you. مَا لَكُمْ What is wrong with you people? لَا تَرْجُونَ لِلَّهِ وَقَارًا You have no expectations. From the grand nobility of Allah, you don't hope from Allah to show you dignity. وَقَدْ خَلَقَكُمْ أَطْوَارًا And He's the one that already created you in stage after stage. Tawr means stage. Atwar means you, you were babies and you were adults and you've matured so much. He's the one that did that for you. أَلَمْ تَرَوْ كَيْفَ خَلَقَ اللَّهُ سَبْعَ سَمَوَاتٍ طِبَاقًا Haven't you taken a look and reflected how Allah created seven skies, one on top of the other in layers? وَجَعَلَ الْقَمَرَ فِيهِنَّ نُورًا And in those skies Allah placed, within them He placed a light. وَجَعَلَ الشَّمْسَ سِرَاجًا Meaning the moon first, and then he placed the sun as a lamp. وَاللَّهُ أَنْبَتَكُمْ مِنَ الْأَرْضِ نَبَاتًا And Allah is the one who caused from the earth all kinds of things to sprout for you. أَنْبَتَكُمْ نَبَاتًا All kinds of things to sprout for you. ثُمَّ يُعِيدُكُمْ فِيهَا Then he is the one who brings it out, he returns it back to you from within it. Meaning the plants sprout and they give seeds and you put the seed back in and it brings it back to more produce. He keeps giving you more and more out of the same food. وَيُخْرِجُكُمْ إِخْرَاجًا And He continuously brings things out for you. 